you can be yourself. Like you don't have to change who you are. And like, just because, you know, so-and-so that you've seen on TV or you know, on. the pastor that you've seen and they lay hands a certain way and they elevate their voice and they make Jesus, you know, three or four or five or six or seven syllables and they do all this <laughs> stuff. Like it doesn't mean that you have to do that. If that's who you are and that's your actual personality, then go for it. Definitely Amen. Not, not, not putting anything, anything down. And, and I know that even for me, like when I, when I really get into like a spiritual moment, I know that I can, you know, pull some of that stuff up too, without even thinking about yeah. it. So it's whatever. Yeah. But all I'm saying is like, it's a great point. So often, like you can literally just, you can, you can go up to, to your mom or to a stranger in the store or to a friend or on the phone, call somebody up or whatever it is. And when you have an opportunity to minister, whether it's for healing or it's, uh, you, you know, the Lord gives you a prophetic word for them or whatever it might be. Like when you have an opportunity to do that, that doesn't make you like a weird person. It doesn't mean like it mm. can just flow from this place of rest, from this place of trust in who God is not in like, I love what you said, man, not just like striving for, okay, I need faith for miracles. I need faith for miracles. I need this miracle to work. I need this to happen. Hold on. In, in Galatians, it talks about how faith works through love love come on faith works through love and so i've said look if you feel like you're having a faith problem you feel like your faith isn't good enough let me tell you like that's actually not true because mm. god's dealt to each of us the measure of faith so you Get have it. faith working in your life you have the faith of jesus from the moment you couldn't even be saved if he didn't give that faith to you by grace saved through faith and that not of ourselves is the gift of god not of works if any man should boast so he gives us faith as a divine gift as an impartation from heaven so that you can even just like make that declaration out of your mouth, Jesus be the Lord of my life. Right. Yeah. And so you start this relationship with Jesus. You start from a place of faith and yes. Jesus is like, like you, you mentioned mustard seed level faith. Jesus is like, Hey, if you have the faith that was in response to them asking Jesus for more faith, they're like, Jesus right. increase our faith. He's like, if you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can say to this tree, and in other words, it's not even about how much faith you have. And Got we'll it. compare yeah. ourselves and we'll think that our faith isn't good enough. Well, I don't have faith for that. You have the faith of God. You have Hello. the faith of Jesus in you. It's a matter of putting that faith into practice and stepping out. And sometimes, man, I've definitely, I, I find myself in those situations all the time where it's like, God, I hope this works because I yeah. believe you said this. I believe this is what you're, what you're saying to me. So I'm going to be bold enough to step out and do it. But it's not always like in ministry context or whatever it is for life. Even like if you're making a business decision based on something that God told you or whatever it is, right? Yeah, so it, good. It doesn't, you don't have to, you're not always going to feel like you're so full of faith and all this kind of stuff. But if you will just trust him and, and, and just be bold enough to stand on what he said. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to like, man, I'm just saying so many decisions that I've made. And like, even like you mentioned, you know, there's times where you're calling out a word of knowledge or whatever it is. And there's been so many situations where I'm just like, like inside I'm shaking. Yeah. You know? Cause I'm just like, I hope this doesn't go horribly wrong. Right. But he's so good, man. He's so faithful. But that's such a great point. And I think if people could learn that, um, that it's not about being super weird, it's about being super natural. It's yeah. about being super natural. Like, what is natural to you? Do that and let yeah. God put his super on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's what's really missing a lot of times. And uh, I love that you talked about the faith of God. You just, uh, it leans toward, and I have to mention in my, my, favorite Bible verse ever is Galatians 2.20. I've been crucified with Christ and no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. And yeah. the King James Bible actually nails it better than most in this instance and says, nevertheless, the life I live, I live by the faith of yes. the Son of God. Of. And if you look it up in the Greek, it's not the faith that you have in him. It's the faith that is in you because of him. Yes. It's his faith. Yeah. <laughs> it's his faith in us that does all of this. It's actually so his faith us that allows us to be born again just like you said even the faith to believe him is a gift it's all a gift from heaven so that's let's just stop the striving thing and comparing i think comparison is you mentioned that as a big 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 roadblock to a lot of people like i i 
I dress like this. I have long hair. I, I have a, I wear on a button up shirt and jeans on Sundays. I do. Uh, but that is like as dressed up as I ever get. I'm me, I'm myself. And, um, I have a lot of problems, Duke. One of them is not inauthenticity. I can tell you, I, I have issues. I have issues. Yeah. That's not one of them. Okay. And it's such a freeing thing, like to be secure in who you are and to not like feel like you have to be a certain way in order to be spiritual. Amazing, amazing point. And that's a great, if people can walk away with just that, man, that's a great contribution to just to the thriving life of God in you. Like he made you perfect and he made you uh, just the way he wanted you and you have your your skin color because that's what he wants and you have your you know parents because that's what he's going to use and that's I mean that's who you are he made you to be that way and he doesn't have any mistakes walking around on two legs he he did it on purpose you know and so I'm just a firm believer that we all carry the image of God and we're growing in his likeness as we see Jesus as we behold him as in a mirror we're transformed right transfigured into the same image as him. So second Corinthians three, I just feel like that's such a beautiful, beautiful position to take. I'm glad you brought it up. And that's my favorite verse, by the way, one of oh. top, top three for sure. sure. Second Corinthians three eighteen, mm. you holding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord were transformed into the same image. I absolutely love it. Um, we become more like him as we worship him, as we, as we, as we behold him, as we contemplate who he is, we are transformed. We become more and more like him. Yeah. Have you seen um, in the Greek that that's that word transformed is actually the same word as transfigured yeah. in Matthew 17. Yep. That blew my mind when I saw that. I'm like, wait a minute, yep. transfigured. Um, so yeah, I'm being transformed, but I'm really just being revealed because wow. Jesus being transfigured on the Mount wasn't becoming holy. He was just becoming clearly seen. Hmm. He, he was becoming himself. Yeah. Right. He is the self-existent Jehovah. Right. Yeah. So he didn't become holy on the Mount of Transfiguration. He just got transfigured, unveiled. Yes. So we also are being transfigured, unveiled as to who we are. Our real life, it's hidden in Christ. Right. Colossians yeah. 3. So that transfiguration, that unveiling, that coming out from hiding that, yes. you know. Yeah, I it's just, actually like it. the like a metamorphosis. It's, yes. That's, that word metamorphosis comes from that, that yep. etymology. Um, right. So yeah, and it so it's so not cool. the the butterfly was inside the caterpillar the whole time. That the whole was time. its nature. That was its DNA. That's what it was created to be. But it looked like a slug <laughs> until yep. until it went through that process of transformation. It's actually that's the same word that's used in uh in Romans twelve. Be transformed oh, yep. by the that's renewing right. of your mind. That's right. Um, we have the mind of Christ. The Bible. Come says. on. Right. We have the mind of Christ. But OK, so here's one of my other favorite verses, because this stuff's just flowing now. But love it in uh, Colossians 2, 6. Yes. You have received Christ. So, so walk, walk in him. In him. Yeah, man. And it's like, OK, he's done all of this for us. He's given us all of this, given us access to his world, to his presence, to his to everything that he's given to us. He's he's done it all. When he declared it is finished on the cross, he meant it. And yes. it was finished for all time. Everything that we will ever need was accomplished in his sacrifice, in his death, and in his resurrection. And so now it's making decisions to think the way that he thinks, to be beholding him, becoming more, you know, going through that process of following him. And I love that you said that, man. It's being revealed in you who you really are. 